The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the show today. We're going to do something a little different because from our perspective, looking at numbers, something very, very important happened last night. If you know the chart that I posted up here today, you'll see that it was one from the newsletter over the weekend, and we were looking for a top at... 10,005, excuse me, 13,588 in the NASDAQ is what we were looking for. Well, last night, folks, after Microsoft came out with its earnings, you'll notice here that the high in the doggone thing was 11,600, 12 points above what we were looking for. And actually, the number was 13,605. Folks, from, from a perspective of uh, Fibonacci numbers, uh, 1.618, folks, it, it is the line in the sand. It really is because uh, it's the guillotine of trading. Because if you get above 13,600 now after breaking 200 points last night, uh, you're going to go a lot higher. Now, I know that Apple is coming out with their earnings uh, today, and the whole world is watching the most active stock. Well, it's the, uh, let's put it this way, it's one of the most, uh, it is the most popular stock and most widely held. So that'll be a big deal. Whether there'll be a surprise or not, the odds of that of being a surprise on the downside is probably less than one out of ten. Because, you know, they build these things in and we'll be able to see what's going on. Okay, uh, but that's that's a big number, folks. I don't know if it's the top. I know it's a top, but I don't know whether it's going to be the top. And it doesn't. We will know. I, I tell you this. I think we'll know in ten days, because the price action now is what really counts. Because if that's the top, it's going to scare the bejeebies out of the longs. How could that happen? I don't know. Now we've had a question here about this uh, stock called uh, GameStop. I'll, I'll get this up here. I don't know anything about this, folks other than I recommended for everybody here at TFNN to buy it at $11 a share. Uh, we're currently long. We've been adding all the way up, and uh, we're making substantial profits today. But we think it's going to go to 900 by Friday. I think it's three something, 300 and something now, now, and I think 900. Oh, wait, we're just getting a flash in from our ticker tape in New York, and it tells us its price level has now changed to 1,200. Folks, I don't know what's happening with this stocks, but this is nuts. I mean, it really is. <laughs> Hold on here just a second here. I mean, this thing is really crazy. What I did was I went and I moved to a 15-minute chart so you could see the swings unfolding in this thing. And believe me, there are really, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> there's no way to, to explain this darn thing. And then if you take a look at what's happened, sit, not, I didn't update this today but this is where we were this is what we were looking for if this thing took off to the upside and look where we are we we have gone beyond the 1.618 level now that's remember how the 1.618 stopped in the nasdaq this one here blew through it i heard i heard tommy say that this thing's trading for 360 is that correct are you kidding me you you talk, 290 it's high of 353 wow Unbelievable! I hope you got the I hope you got the uh, notification to go short at 3:56 uh, this morning that I sent out before it happened, folks. This is all baloney. Anybody who believes that stuff is great. Something is going on in the stock. I, does anybody know how thin it is? My guess is it, it's probably thinner than uncooked Jello would be my guess. You know that's uh you know I I I don't know. I, I fact is, I, I had never even heard of this stock until someone asked me about it. And right after someone asked me about it, somebody else asked me about it. So like in Bitcoin, I try to look to see what the heck's going on with the stuff. But I don't know when you get that's it. That's a that's a, that's not a flagpole. That's a rocket ship. You know, so you can't really get, you know, get into the in the 
You know, that's not what I do, folks. The number of times you see something like that is very, very rare. That's the main thing. You want to be careful of doing that. But, uh, you know, no, folks, look, do, do the easy ones. Look at the easy one. This is look at corn here. We talked about this in the in the twenty four seven level for four or five days before it happened, and when the corn gets down to a perfect A B C D down there at four ninety three, and now it's trading making new highs at five forty two. You know that's a that's a huge move in corn, and the same thing happened in the old soybeans. The soybeans did exactly the same thing. And uh, soybeans reached the target today. Uh, that ABCD pattern has reached the target. That's moved to 90 cents, $4,000 in beans and uh, $2,200, uh, $2,500 in corn in a week. You got to you got to book some profits in here. Sure, it could go a lot higher, but. You know, I had two emails last night from people, you know, and, and I'm happy that everybody's, you know, got a nice winter. You don't get big ones like this very often, but when they happen, it's nice. And they, they say, gee, I've made so much money, I don't know what to do. Well, if you've made that much money and you don't know what to do, there's only one way to get to get out. And, folks, there is only 100% no, uh, move that I've ever met, uh, that I've ever seen, that actually works 100% of the time. I got it from Larry Williams. And it used to be called the telephone indicator. And that was that if you start calculating how much money you're making before you put that calculator down, go to the telephone and liquidate your positions because your fear index has come in or, in this case, the greed index has come in. Sure, it could go a lot higher, but your, your, your own psychic is telling you take some money off the table. I mean, that's uh, this stuff could be, you know, very easy you know, to look at. Maria, don't listen to that stuff. Maria is saying she's not very happy with Chairman Powell and what he says. That does None of that stuff makes any difference, dear. It really doesn't. And I, I love you dearly, but don't listen to that stuff. I mean, I, I stopped it years ago, and I, you know, I'm, I'm in the dark here, but boy, being in the dark is good. I'm also in a foot of snow up on the mountains, so that's uh, pretty stuff. But anyway, that's all part of that stuff, and I, you know, it, uh, you know, uh, it's my two cents worth. You don't really need it. You know, look at the NASDAQ last night. You got Microsoft with the best earnings since uh uh, Moses was found floating in the Nile, and I'll tell you what, look what happens to the uh, NASDAQ. It drops 200 points. So that's a really important thing. And those of you that follow the 24-7 know what to expect. So get ready. It's going to be something that's going to be pretty exciting. And, you know, maybe it goes back and make new highs above there, which it could. But uh, we'll have to do one thing at a time and, and, wait it's, and wait and see. That's what I think. Anyway, now someone's asked a question about the Bitcoin. What I've done now is I've switched over to the uh, <laughs> Mr. Z is giving it all words of uh, Kenny Rogers. There'll be plenty of time for counting when the dealing's done. Well, keep your cards close to your vest, Mr. Z. Here's Bitcoin in the futures market, folks. Open interest around 12,000 when it started in January of 18 2018 we had an open interest of 40 so people are playing this game you can see the abcd we're going to take a little break here 877-927-6648 If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. 
Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245, and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere, hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've had a question about the euro. I've posted the long-term weekly chart in euro. I don't use that for trading, but I look at it as maybe for long-term views or something like that. But when we were looking at this euro trade that we're in right now, you'll notice what we were looking at. You'll see here in the euro over – the last six months, we've had some really strong 1.618 expansions. The last one stopping here at uh, 123.50. Uh, the market came down almost exactly to the 382 retracement and has been going sideways for six days. And that usually is its very suspect when something does that like that because usually after hitting that, it explodes to the upside. Look at the other time. That that point C on the chart, you can see with the red thunderbolt there, that's the ABCD pattern. You can see how things exploded on the upside uh, when that was occurring. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Z, we are still short the euro. I'll show you, I'll show you the next chart because that's the one that we're looking at uh, currently. And uh, let's get this up here so we can see it. I hope I have the right one. Yep, I think this is uh, – nope, I think this is the one. Hold on here. Okay, here's where we were as of last night. We we were – I'll just get this up here. You can see this here. Oh. <laughs> so Jimmy's saying my poker playing hours have reduced. Yeah, I've played twice in the last year. That's okay. There's the things other than poker. Uh, you'll notice here this is over the past four or five days. You can see the euro – uh, came down, almost hit the 61% retracement, and uh, didn't quite make it. And then we rallied up. We've had lower tops in here. And then, of course, this morning, if you're following the euro, uh, it's had a pretty big break to the downside. Let's get it up here. You'll be able to see it without too much trouble. That'll give you an idea of what we're looking at. And now what you're you're doing is you're completing an ABCD down at this uh, 121.15. Uh, so that has a has a nice profit in it right now of about eight hundred dollars. But, you know, we don't know what's going to happen next. And we're looking for something larger in this because of the fact that the daily pattern is not really telling us that the euro wants to go up. So you just go up just like with corn and beans, folks. I don't know if these patterns are going to work. You know, I really don't. I just look at certain things and that's pretty much what I look for. Uh, you know, that That's really the bottom line. I don't think I can. 
make it easier than that. And that is that, uh, you know, you just have to look at the charts and find out what your risk is. I had, a, I had an email yesterday from a couple, somebody I'd never heard from over in uh, Austria. And, uh, you know, don't have many students in Austria. But uh, he, he was involved in the cattle market based on one of the charts that we had set in the 24-7 uh, just a few weeks ago. If you take a look up here, you'll see here that we had this really strong support here. And bada bing, bada boom, look what we did. We went from 112 all the way up to 117. That's five handles in uh, in cattle, folks. That's uh, that's $2,500. And, and, and he also did the same thing in the, uh, let's get it up here, in, in the hogs. And, and when I, when I, Talk to you about key support there. That's telling you that, look, that's where you want to be looking to buy. And if it goes below it, you're wrong and you get out. You know, that's that's what trading is all about, folks. I mean, I can't make it any more simple. You're going to be right sometimes. You're going to be wrong sometimes. When I was a little shaver, my grandmother told me, you know, to always take two quarters when you get on the bus, because if you don't find a pretty girl on the first bus, you'll find a pretty girl on the second bus. So that's the whole secret to trading, folks. Wait to find the ones you've looked the best and do those and go from there. Risk a little, make a lot. Sometimes you lose a lot. You're not going to lose a lot because you're going to keep your stop in. And that's one of the things that you want to be able to look at. Hey, folks, this thing with GameStop. You know, one thing for sure, we know that it's, we know how it's going to end, okay, most probably badly. Uh, well, definitely badly, but, you know, how do you get in it? I have no interest in it. What I would be doing if I did have an interest is I'd be going down to a five-minute chart and looking for a little pattern on that five-minute chart to see it gave me an indication. But why do I want to take a headache like that trying to catch a falling knife or, you know, grabbing a shooting star when I can look at things that are simple like the NASDAQ? Last night we have bullish news. It takes it to 13,600. And uh, you have an order setting there at 13,588. And believe me, folks, the number of seconds it took between 13,588 and the 13,600 was instantaneous. I mean, it hit that 600 and boom, down it went, immediately broke 60 handles. And then it made a perfect Gartley right in the middle of the night. Uh, and I guess Maria was up real early in New York time at uh, 13,577 and then broke two full handles, which is $4,000 with a very, very small risk. So where it goes from here, don't know. Second thing is, I don't care. The one thing it caused it all, and I did bring this chart up to show you because it's very, hold on here a second. This is, this is softy. This is Microsoft. Look at this, folks. We had a really big, you can see yesterday there was a tip off that something was going to happen in it. And now we went up and we made a double top up here at 235. Folks, frankly, I if I had two cents worth and I, you know, I could pull two cents from somewhere, I'd be looking to sell Microsoft here at this uh, 230, uh, 233 level. I don't know where it's trading uh, overnight. Can someone tell me where we are in Microsoft right now so I would know? Uh, but I, I would be a shorter. I'd sell that puppy at 233 and put a $3 stop on it at 236. Just on what the, it's 237, all right? Then would have lost on that one because it's still going higher. But that's how I do it. I'll take that three-point loss because, well, the NASDAQ has already worked, so that's that's pretty good. But anyway, that's what I would be looking at. And, uh, you know, maybe that's too small of a stop to use with a, uh, you know, $237 stop. That's only, wow, that's, a very, that's, that's very, very small. Okay, let's take a look here at... Uh, uh, well, I'm sure it will be fun to watch on the GME, but I'm not involved with it. But anyway, I am involved in the NASDAQ. That started out really good, and the S&P started out pretty good. And even the gold, we're getting ready to see. I think we're getting ready to get down to that last leg in gold very, very soon, folks. I don't know if it's going to come uh, really quickly or not, but we'll have, to, uh, we'll have to wait and see and give it a little bit of time. Of watching it. So hold on a second here. Uh, oh, here's, I have an expectation here on Apple since the whole world is crazy. I'll get this up here. Okay, this is Apple. As you can see here, uh, we had lower lows, uh, excuse me, higher lows. 
at the 78% level in uh, uh, January. And uh, you'll see here we've had another one at 618. We, we had a pullback at the 382 retracement uh, at uh, 136. We're at trading above there right now. We hit uh, 145. Folks, if we get good, if we get really good earnings in Apple, we could see $11 jump up here to 156 and maybe even higher because if it goes beyond the 1.618 expansion, you know, we've seen that happen and you don't want to stand in front of that. So uh, we're trading at 143.16 free earnings. We're going to take a break here. We're going to have Arch Crawford at the break, God willing, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Arch Crawford of Tucson, Arizona, looking at those snow-covered mountains. Arch, are you there? I believe I am here. <laughs> We're having some kind of weather, huh? There's snow on the mountains, uh, 28, de 28 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> it, it hailed yesterday. It sure did. We got we could hear it on the roof. You know, we have these uh, skylights, and boy, that really plays uh, plays music when it hits that skylight. Uh, <laughs> Sam, do you, do you, Arch, Arch, I have a question for you. Do you know anybody that's involved in this uh, game stock phenomenon that's going on? 
No, I don't. I don't either. I think it's just a you know, just craziness. But anyway, we've seen this before. But you know, went from ten to what uh, three uh, twenty-five. Someone said today in just a matter of a uh, a few weeks. I mean, that's just uh, that that's better than you can get at the bank. Um, would you say that again, or say it in a different way? <laughs> different. You know, let, let's forget it because it's silly. It really is. Listen, okay. I want to uh, ask you a question. Uh, we just made uh, New York Stock Exchange goes up to the old peaks. Yeah. What do you think is happening here in the markets, uh, Arch, as we as we come in here on January the twenty uh, seventh? Well, uh, we said the first paragraph of my new letter that came out on the twenty fifth. Says, uh, you know, notice in the chart at right, the 52 week new highs have returned to an area where numerous previous tops have taken place, suggesting that current levels could very well be indicating a high probability that another important top is forming right here. Also, take careful notice that the other recent highs recorded remarkably steep declines immediately following those formed at or near these same levels. And that's in the chart on page one of the letter that went out okay. yesterday or the day so before. So I think it's a, you know, it's, it's a sort of a danger sign, I guess, as you would, uh, as you're um, saying. In I the think letter. it was. It's more than that. It was. Uh, he, uh, it says we believe this. Let's see. Will herald a he, huge event. Uh, the most power and significance in the sky this month is a massive stellium. Multiple planets in the same sign, like seven, I think, uh, uh, in the sign of Aquarius, February 11th. When we okay. say massive, that is no joke. There will be five planets, the sun and moon, and one of the four largest asteroids in uh. one zodiacal sign, the astrological sign in Western astrology uh. divided in 30, 30 degree sections no. that it'll be that seven uh -huh. uh, major bodies. Well, that brings back some memories, Arch. I remember back in the old days of FNN in uh, Los Angeles and Bill Griffith, uh, we were on the show and we didn't we have uh, five signs uh, in uh, Cancer or Leo or something during uh, the top of uh, August 19, 25th of 1987? 1990, right? Uh, 1987. It was 1987 uh, yeah. before the before the crash. Okay. And uh, I we believe did they were good on that, didn't we? Yeah, that's all I remember. Yeah, we we certainly did. But they call that thing. There was a there was all kinds of the uh, the guys with the uh, that smoke a little too much dope were calling. What was it called? Harm harmonic convergence. It was called by the. The uh, Mayan people, it was supposed to be the end of the Mayan calendar and the end of the world was coming, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> uh, December the 12th of what year, I forget. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I know they do all those things. I, you know, I just sort of, you know, look at the patterns and stuff and try to give me a heads up of what I think is uh, is really happening. Now, uh, we have a question from one of our listeners uh Arch, about uh, Bitcoin. Are you uh, involved in that at all? I noticed you have a chart in your newsletter about Bitcoin, and everybody seems to be, not everybody, but a lot of people are getting more and more interest. Uh, you'll be able to see that uh, we're trading around 31,000, I think, today. But do you have a feeling on Bitcoin? Um, well, yeah. I, we had uh, promoted it in a couple of letters before it really took off big. Um, it was like 4,000 early last year, and it ran yep. up to 43,000 in early January this year, yep. I mean, this month. Yeah. Uh, that was, that's the incredible and huge, but it may be, uh, have outdone itself for the, uh, at least the short term. Um, now it's pulled back down to about um, a little above 30,000 twice in the last couple of weeks. And we'll see if that level breaks. The 50-day the moving average on it is right now about uh, 24,500. Oh. And it's, a, it's right now at 32,008. 
Well, that's really a, I know so little about those cryptocurrencies that it's uh, all I know is they're, they're difficult to buy. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, do you own, do you own it? Can I ask you this, Archer? Do you own any cryptocurrencies? No, I do not. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. We should have a club going on about that. That's the main thing. Let's well, move we on. We should have some in the background just in case it yeah. gives us ten times more. <laughs> that's for sure. Let's take a uh, let's take a quick look here at the. Uh, Let's get this one second here. Take a quick look here at the uh, notes, the notes and bonds. What uh, what are you looking at here uh, on the notes and bonds, and then also the U.S. dollar? Uh, did you say the bonds? Yeah, no, yeah, the Treasury notes. You know, we've we've had these had a pretty big move here in interest rates here over the past. Uh, Oh, a couple of weeks we've had a you know big uh, increase in interest rates and now we're sort of backing off again. But uh, do you believe in the fact of the uh, negative interest rates? Uh, well, the negative interest rates have been all over uh, the world, other than here and a yeah. couple of other places. Uh, right now, the TNX is running about uh, a little over one oh uh, about one ten. Uh, one point one percent, and uh, that's it's been rising uh, since August. The rate has been going up, so um, it's not um, collapsing like it was. Uh, okay, and it and it has around the world to some okay. extent. So uh, keeping an eye on it, but the trend is up right now, and that that could change if it drops down below one percent. I'm so, looking at the trend line. If it drops below one, on the uh, this is the TNX hourly, sure ten year the ten year rate. Yeah, I'd like to you challenge your memory, and I know it's still pretty good. You remember back in '82 when we had the interest rates were you know bonds were trading at about uh, 52, I think, in the bonds. That's the same bond that's trading at 170 now, folks. But uh, <laughs> but the interest rates at that time, you know, we were looking at uh, T-bill rates of, what, 12 13 percent. And, uh, you know, muni bonds were uh, – tax-free muni bonds were like 17 percent. I mean, that that's, was the bottom of the market. And, you know, we've been in a 38-year – well, actually, a top two years ago. We, went, we were in a 36-year bull market. The interest rates and hey, well, we got to pay a few bills. Can you stay with us, Arch? Yeah. We'll be right back and talk about the U.S. dollar. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. 
Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Arch Crawford, Crawford Perspectives. Uh, Arch, are you following any of the information about this uh, site called Reddit, you know, that uh, social media site that, you know, gives stock advice or lets people get in there and talk about things? I mean, looks like it reminds me of the old bucket shop days with uh, Jesse Livermore. I mean, it, uh, it's, it's really quite crazy, but that's what's going on. I, I don't follow it, but I heard about it, and I just was asking if you knew anything about I'm, it. I'm sitting here looking at the chart of GameStop. Uh -huh. GME. Yes. It was uh, like two in July and August, two or three, and it yes. started rising and rose uh, steadily to about 20 a week or two ago, <laughs> and it's uh -huh. over 200 this morning. Yeah, it hit three. It hit three something this morning. Uh, we were talking about it in the dead earlier. You're that's a hell of, that's three a, something. Yeah. Three uh, three fifty three, I think, something like that. I thought I saw a post there. My lord, we we yeah. have seen this kind of thing before, and it occurs at major long term tops in mm -hmm. markets, and it, it, people are going yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I mentioned in um, this letter uh, the most power and significance in the sky this month is a massive. Stellium, February 11th, in the sign of Aquarius. When we say massive, that is no joke. There'll be five planets, the sun and moon, and one of the four largest asteroids in one zodiacal sign. The astrological signs, well, that uh, goes back. But this is uh, a, a very strong concentration of everything in the sky in a very small Height. I think it's like 23 degrees or something like that. Wow. Um, it, that is very, very rare, and it shows a concentration of energy in one spot in the sky, which can bring about very strange and unusual occurrences. And uh, number one, you have to watch out for them to stay away from them, and then if you have a little extra money laying around, you might want to try uh, a wild and crazy uh, probability, and it yeah. may work out, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> I certainly don't. Hey, Arch, uh, let's just switch gears to something that you're really good at. You win a lot of awards on the Timer Digest, which I heard is, is finally uh, closing up shop now. In fact, right. they, wow, have... very sad. Yeah. Anyway, what, what's your information on gold telling you, Arch? Uh, gold. Uh, that's on the back here. Okay. Um, well, we just had this uh, sideways for several years, 
from about 2013 to uh, 28 through 2018. And so 2019, uh, we went up from uh, about 1150 to 1550 and pulled back a little bit. And then um, last year, 2020, we went up from that low of 1450 to over 2050, um, yeah. which was, I think, August, early August last yeah. year and uh, now it's back down to what 1750 or so a little higher than uh, that no it's it's 18 it's trading around 1830 right now so it looks like oh, we okay. got a chance 1750 uh, is the area that i'm really looking at 1750 to 1700 as a possible you know good support buying opportunity but uh you know it certainly hasn't happened as of yet do you feel the question someone's asking Arch, do you feel that we have a chance to see gold at, uh, at $3,000 an ounce uh, in the next couple of years? Um, I would say, looking at this chart, that anything is possible with that. Yeah. Anything. And it depends on how much our civilization collapses and that our money goes to, to zero or something like that. Yeah. Um, if the U.S. dollar goes to zero, gold will go to infinity. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't expect that exactly, but um, world conditions are very uneasy, put it that way. That would be the understatement of the year, my friend. That would be the understatement of the year. Listen, I want to thank you for being with us today, and we'll have you on again soon. And stay warm over there. Uh, you, you live about a mile away from me here in Tucson. We both look at the same mountains right behind us here, the Catalina Mountains that are covered with snow. It looks like Switzerland as you drive around Tucson. But uh, be safe, and uh, you know we'll have well, you on again soon. Just remember to go out and buy Crawford Perspectives. This is true. Hey, why don't you tell the folks how they could reach you? Okay, it's uh, $250 a year, 12 issues. It's the same as it was in 1977 when we started. And uh, we're in Tucson, Arizona. You can find us easily. We get, have a phone number, 520-577-1158. Uh, you can find us online. You can find us by email. You can find us any kind of way. Send money. Thank you. Hey, sounds good. T take it easy, buddy, and we'll have you on again soon. Thank you. God bless. You bet. Arch Crawford, Crawford's Perspective, folks. And we'll be moving on here to a couple of charts that we need to be talking about. We've got the market down quite a bit, over 400 points in the Dow, 200 handles in the uh, NASDAQ, and 60 handles in the S&P. Uh, all I know, folks, is that number that we hit there in the NASDAQ is a big number. I don't know if it means much, but... Uh, you know, that's been the leader of the pack. Uh, we've been expecting it. We finally hit it. And uh, that's pretty much uh, what we're what we're looking at. Uh, one of the uh, one of the folks here in the den is asking about uh, if I have uh, the same expertise as Arch. No, I do not, folks. I I use uh, astro astrology stuff very, very sparingly, uh, if, if at all. I look at it when there's something really big happening, and, and I watch that. I watch new moons and full moons because those are, you know, those are 14-day cycles that work pretty well when they work, and when they don't work, you know, use something else. And that's what technical analysis is all about: is try to find something that works and stick with it. There's nothing else that you have to, nothing else that you have to do to see if you're right there. That's uh, that's pretty much what what it's all about. So you know, keep in mind that this stuff doesn't work all the time the one thing that i feel very strongly of and i'll bring this to you one more time that what we're going to see here in 2020 is going to be uh it's going to set records this is what's been happening to volatility you know over the past uh you know 20 years or so and you know we could easily get above this 50 level and start trading up there folks because you know fear is a greater emotion than greed and i'll tell you that could you know literally do it Got a big base there, and I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but uh, we'll see. Now, that, that colorful chart is not from me. It's from one of our listeners uh, at 24-7. Uh, but fi frankly, that that's what you have to look at. And we, we could see that uh, in the next uh, 
couple of months, and we'll be talking about it as we go through the stuff that we're looking at here today. Of course, we have Apple earnings today, and I've already shown you what I think the guess is for Apple. If we get above, uh, you know, 146, we could easily hit 157, and we'll see out for uh, what's going on. So we'll see. 877-927-6648. in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as... Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. I posted a chart of the gold. Uh, this is a 30-minute chart of February gold. We just hit... Uh, 1829, that was a 61% retracement of the low on the 17th. That's an ABCD in perfection, where AB equals CD. So the possibility of the low coming in here in gold is quite high. If you did buy it there in 1829, it'd be very, very smart of you to put your stop right at your break even point and let it go because you don't know what's going to happen. That is a perfect Gartley, but as we know, these markets do fail, and you do not want to stand in front of it if it fails. The importance of this chart, if you look at it, 
between the the uh, January 20th and January 25th, the market rallied up to a perfect Gartley at the 78% level in 1870 and has dropped $70 an ounce right now. And look where it stopped at 1.27, which is the expansion of the BC swing. And then if you add 1.27 to 786, uh, boys and girls, you know, you come up with the very, very interesting number of two. Anyway, let's take a look here at the uh, uh, stocks. We're still getting hit pretty hard, but uh, it's not as bad as it was before. We've only down uh, 50 handles in the S&P. We're down 240 in the uh, NASDAQ. And we're down about, uh, wow, we're down 60 handles in the, uh, wow, we were down more than that. Boy, they've hit this thing pretty hard, folks. That, that must mean something after hitting that number. And we'll see what the news is on Apple today. Because what would happen now if Apple's news was bad? That would not be very, very good, in my opinion. But, you know, that the odds of that are less than uh, 2 out of 10. You know, 80% of the time, Apple has a bullish bullish number, and it makes it uh, makes it go uh, pretty pretty nicely. So keep in keep in point of this. Uh, the the buy point on the GDX, you're correct. We're waiting for that GDX to get down to around 31. That's going to tell us that we have a major bottom in the gold. This is a short-term trading bottom, folks. That's all that is. Uh, it's already rallied four bucks. So keep your stop in, and we'll see you tomorrow. Eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight.